Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we are going to discuss very confusing topic that is about uh, pursuing MTAC from BITS work integrated learning program and I, I'm going to give my honest view about the course. Some of my friends are uh, working and they are also pursuing uh, this MTAC from BITS and uh, I am going to give my review of uh, BITS planning honesty no biasness pros and cons and based on that you can take a decision whether you want to pursue the course or you are happy or unhappy with the course so uh, uh, bits is bits wilp is a program organized by bits planning and if you are on this video means you are aware of how this program works so let's get into the details now first thing the course introduction right so the Bits Pilani has started their work integrated learning program long back and uh, it has been uh, uh, changed from uh, MS to MTech now due to some UGC regulation and it has uh, multiple branches which where you you can enroll get enrolled into that uh, today I am going to specifically talk about data science because data science is very uh, new area and a uh, lot of people are getting attracted towards this degree right now so the course has been divided uh, into the four semester structure first semester and second semester uh, is make sure one year and then the third and the fourth uh, semester uh, will be your uh, second year which is final year so the first first semester you will have uh, data uh, data structure computer organization and um, uh, linear algebra like mathematics engineering mathematics and data mining as a subject in the second semester you will have uh, more focused like artificial intelligence uh, and uh, nlp like the project like that so the course content is available on the website you can check uh, and uh, in the first semester you first second semester and the second semester you need to go for for face to face classes uh, which will happen uh, in respective uh, you know the uh, city it can be in Bangalore it can be in Chennai Hyderabad or Delhi wheresoever okay so uh, the fees for first year uh, is semester wise and it is close to 50,000 plus uh, is a tuition fees and there is some uh, admission fees as well uh, this year they have also increased it so that's how it goes exam format you will have two type two uh, two types of the exams in one semester one is mid mid term and then you will have your final exam uh, for this particular semester in between you will also have some quiz and assignments which will have a which will carry a weightage for uh, your final marking so that's all about the introduction and you can go through the website and learn lot lot of things about it let's move yes this is this question is very much relevant right so how much it is relevant to the industry i'm specifically talking about data science so uh, to be very frank uh, i would say theoretically it is very much relevant to the industry but uh, practically it's not relevant because there are lots of new tools and techniques has come into the market which are already being used and whatever you will get uh, taught in the classroom you, you will hardly implement it into the uh, advanced concept but if you don't understand linear algebra if you don't understand data structure if you don't understand data mining this course is for you so i would recommend if you are a data scientist already and are going through with a lot of work every day and still feel some gaps that you don't understand how the matrix multiplication helps you or how the uh, artificial intelligence neural network works and the basic stuff then yes this course is for you else no okay for the senior experienced data scientist i'm talking now coming to the freshers if you are coming from a testing background or if you are coming from development background and uh, thinking that this degree will help you to get into the data science industry i might disappoint you that uh, the the only this degree will not uh, help you you have to do a lot of courses a lot of projects by yourself which can help you to get into the data science area so if you are a data scientist it's uh, about the relevance of the uh, this course to the industry i have mixed feelings but it's not a bad course yes this is another question we get from a lot of people that is it a valid course or and accepted in the industry uh, i personally has inquired with a lot of people 
and with my friends so few of my friends are using this degree to uh, when they uh, while they are pursuing uh, phd and uh, they said that uh, you know, there was some confusion initially but they got accepted in phd program uh, when coming back to the uh, accepted in the industry there are few companies who are accepting this as a degree but very limited one and uh, if you are trying to get job based on this degree or hike i would recommend stay away from this but if you are looking for something which is boosting your uh, knowledge and uh, showcasing your area of interest and area of interest and proving that yes you can take the challenge then yes this is a the uh, this is a course you can take it up if you are you know really interested in academics area but uh, coming back to the, the is it a valid course uh, there are some mixed answers on the internet as well but as far as i understood that uh, you can take admissions in phd using this course and uh, you need to build your profile so that you showcase that you are really relevant for the phd but it helps and uh, few companies service companies they uh, they take this degree as a say in uh, as a valid degree while product companies doesn't uh, give too much value to this degree and again this these are uh, uh, my uh, my reviews based on my understanding from other people and the, the my surroundings the next question who are the right candidate for this course so now we know what is the course whether it's relevant for the industry or not whether it's accepted or not who are the right candidates for this course the first one who are in the IT industry and wants to get out of this industry to do the PhD but doesn't want to sacrifice two years for doing a master's this is the perfect gateway you get into this degree, take the master's, build your knowledge in parallel, to do some research paper, publish some research paper and then uh, apply for PhD. One, second, the candidate who is somehow get got into the data science industry by self learning and doing projects and um, everything and he's doing good, he is learning a lot of advanced algorithms but sometimes feels that he should understand the basics of data science and like linear algebra, data structure behind it, then data mining process, then basic neural networks, basic statistical modeling, basic mathematics, then this is the course for you as well. You can pursue it and it's very flexible course. You can try it. I would say content wise good course if you are a experienced data scientist. Okay. Third category person who is in other domain of the industry like testing development and other and wants to try their uh, or get, wants to switch into the data science industry i would be re little reluctant that uh, without having any experience and uh, getting using this degree to get into the uh, industry it will not help so this candidate i will say 50 percent chances to get a to land a great job used by using this degree but if you combine this degree with the uh, lots of like Coursera EDX courses and build a knowledge base and build a profile on this, this is going to land you a good job. So relevant to the uh, every candidate, but the best candidate for this is the person who wants to do PhD and get into the academics, but doesn't want to sacrifice this to uh, two years for this MTech degree. The best candidate. Okay, let's move. So shall I get enrolled? well uh, again think about it see it's value versus time don't think about money it's two lakhs if you are for sure when you are applying for this course you are working if you are working two lakhs uh, in two years doesn't make huge difference for your life and it's helping you so uh, to answer this question shall i get enrolled if you are in the first category which i explained like wants to get phd and wants to take it forward yes 100% you get yourself enrolled and you start learning it because it will build your basics which will help you to boost your research aptitude if you are in the second category you still get enrolled and uh, learn the basics it will help you to go a long way and if you are from a tier uh, 2 or tier 3 engineering college this i will also give you a bits uh, uh, tag which will help you in future and so what i am saying that you, uh, it will help you i'll explain you later the third category fresher or fresher in data science what i meant so yes you should also get enrolled because this course in next two to three years will get accepted in the industry the reason is being that 
IIT Madra, uh, IIT sorry, IIT Hyderabad has already started a part-time course in, uh, or let's say the M Tech like this part-time M Tech in data science. And when IIT has started it, means there is a value, and for sure in future it will be recognized by the universities or by industry very well. So still consider this degree to get enrolled. Uh, it's worth to enroll into this, but boost your knowledge from outside from external material so yes get uh, you should get enrolled in it disadvantage of the course yes there are a lot of disadvantage with this course uh, you could be you, you you could become little calculative here also you say that okay i am not getting uh, too much value the money i am paying for which you can do by self learning and boost it so that is one disadvantage value versus money it's not justified another part coming to uh, for some uh, i'm saying for some folks not for the every not for everybody uh, and the second question which people ask like whether this coach this particular degree will help them to get a high or a promotion in the particular organization no this degree will not help you to get to the next level the third part it's it's on weekends so your weekends will be very very packed that's also little limited i'm saying that if there will be webinars there will be some assignments coming to you in the weekdays as well and you will be highly packed you will not have time to for other things so it's like you are already working you and uh, uh, since being in india uh, we little extend our working hours every day we have a lot of work to finish at uh, as well so it will be very much packed i would say your life for two years okay fourth point the the faculty so faculties are not really good i would say and it's very honest feedback uh, few are from uh, bits plani or from bits nearby but most of them are not from bits they are uh, uh, corporate trainers hired by bits who are uh, coming on the weekends and teaching the people so i would say that's no that's also a negative point in this course because when you uh, when you enroll in bits thinking that okay the, you will be getting an mtech degree in data science you might be thinking that you will get a uh, very reputed uh, professor to learn from and uh, you will be highly disappointed that yes it's not the case these guys are professionals who have been working in the industry and now they are uh, turning towards uh, a corporate training or like that program and you all have been in the corporate training program I, you will understand how it is okay next one your peer groups so it's not like a classroom it will be more like a gathering and uh, it will not be a very much interactive and don't think like you are going to make a lot of friends over there yes sir few people will make those are very charming and outgoing but for an average person i don't think so you are going to make lots of friends over there so don't think that way as well that's also disadvantage because when you do a master so when you do a degree you also carry a peer uh, peer group for your life who can help you whenever there is a need so that is also one of the disadvantage of the course another disadvantage you will never get a feeling that you are pursuing an uh, master's degree uh, that's not there so yeah etc still yes why should you attend this course i have already explained why you should attend this course it's worth to exp to try and uh, uh, it will add huge value to your cv but when you have knowledge only then that time don't consider that this degree is going to land you in a great position great job and everything no uh, so you should attend this uh, this course only when you are ready to self learn and i in my opinion when you are trying for research uh, post graduate program is a research oriented program and when you are in that mode itself it means that you will you are ready for self learning so don't uh, think too much about professor too much about people what they are saying get in all into the program start learning by yourself validated by bits plani and then perform really well in your job that is going to take you a long way and i am making this video because don't waste too much of time on internet uh, searching that whether this is valid invalid or accepted not accepted degree so in future certainly people will start accepting to 5 years back nobody was doing online courses nobody was accepting nowadays even 
course at a certificate are accepted in the organization so don't worry about it oh, people will always be resistant to the change and it is one of the change start learning it get involved if you have any questions put it into the comment section i am happy to help you thanks and subscribe to our channel thank you